Before you can add performance counters to an Azure Log Analytics data source, you will need an Azure Log Analytics workspace. Creating one is out of the scope of this video, but in the description box below, you will find a link to a guide on how to create one. So in the Azure portal, if we click on Log Analytics Workspaces, you should have a list of all your workspaces. For this video, I'm just going to use pixel-domain. It's one I created earlier for a different blog post. In here, you see a nice overview of your Log Analytics workspace, but all we care about at the moment is the advanced settings. In this blade, once it populates, we click on Data, and then we click on Windows Performance Counters. Now, if this is the first time you've gone into this Log Analytics workspace, or it's a brand new one, we have just not enabled Performance Counters, you will be greeted with a screen just like this, a nice little welcome message. To enable Windows Performance Counters, if we click on the Add the Selected Performance Counters, the nice blue button, and then click Save. This has enabled the Performance Counters for this workspace. If you'd like to add more counters, there's a nice search box at the top. We could start typing Memory, for example, and you'll see a nice list of Performance Counters as a lot. So I have a performance counter I'm going to add, which is basically um, the free system page table entries for memory. So if I just paste that in because I know what it is already and then click on the plus sign, the performance counter has been added. Uh, I have to click save to make sure the changes are saved, which they have. And that's basically adding a performance counter for your Azure Log Analytics Workspace, enabling the Windows Performance Counters also. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, why not give it a thumbs up? And also, why not subscribe to my channel and click the little notification icon to be alerted the next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching.